حتى إذا جاء أحدهم الموت قال رب ارجعون تقال العسار العظام به ويعد الهوى ككبش ذبيح بذكر First problem was you put yourselves, you surrounded yourselves in a bad environment. Fatantum anfusakum. What was the second problem? The second problem was watarabastum. You kept procrastinating. Now, what does that mean? That means you realized it's bad, and you also realized in your own conscience I should change, but you told yourself, I'll change pretty soon, inshallah. I'm gonna change, I know I have to change, I know this is bad, just one more week and I'm gonna be a different person. Man, just this semester, I got these messed up friends right now, and I can't really make them upset, so I'm gonna keep hanging out with them, but next semester I'm totally doing a different schedule, I'm not gonna be around these guys anymore. But just, let me just write out this semester. Just this one more month I'm doing this, you know, just this one more weekend, just this one or two more party, just one or two more drinks, that you keep telling yourself just a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. And then people tell my, my favorite one, Ramadan is right around the corner. It's just 10 more months, 11 more months. You know? Once, I, once Ramadan comes, man, I'll be totally different. And I plan to go to Hajj. Once I go to Hajj, oh, you watch, I'm going to be a different person. But until then, you know, just kind of, just make dua for me. Tarabbastum. You didn't want to make a change today, right now. You figured, you assumed, not only are you putting yourselves in a bad environment, you're not ready to make a transformation right now. It's too much for you to be asked. You'd rather just stick it out. You'd rather just enjoy a little bit more. This is what tarabbastum. But you know what? And you assumed, by the way, this, this also has an assumption. The first assumption was it doesn't affect you. It doesn't have an impact on you, but it does. Something really bad becomes normal to you over time. You get desensitized. What is the effect of tarabbus, of holding off and holding off and holding off? Actually, you assume that you can put the brakes on at any time. And you can walk away from all of it whenever you want. I'm not addicted. I don't need this. I'm not hooked on it. I could just walk away whenever I feel like. The truth of it is, that's not the case. The longer you stay, the more addicted you become. And the more impossible you feel, you can't get out. it's impossible for you to get out of it. You're completely immersed. You're completely drowned. And you don't even know what anymore what it is to be outside of this environment. And then you start telling yourself, it's too late for me. And when that happens, a guilt sets in. The guilt sets in that I'm pretty messed up. Man, I've been doing sins. I've been in this bad environment. I should have made tawbah a long time ago, but it's too late for me. And that bad, nobody likes to feel bad. Nobody. Islam says this is haram and that's haram and that's a sin and that's a sin and you can't do this and you can't say that and you can't go there. It keeps, Islam keeps making you feel bad, man. I want you to feel good. What, how true is Islam anyway? And now the thoughts start running in this person's mind, a man or a woman. Why am I even following Islam? <laughs>